You know what, this is what happens when you leave the most important part of your tripod at someone else's house. Thankfully for me, I'm pretty creative, so let's see how we can fix this. Maybe... smashed up a uh, Samsung phone? <laughs> right underneath there? Hey. <laughs> Perfect. I feel like this is like my first vlog, to be honest, because this is my first time where I'm actually just taking you on like, a day, like a normal-ish day. So, that's fun. The first thing, of course, is that we're having breakfast. I need to catch you up on one thing, actually. This morning was slept away by a migraine, so you didn't miss much. I was sleeping. So, the first thing we have to do today is have some breakfast, because we can't do anything without good breakfast. The first fundamental thing I always say when you're cooking is that if you don't have the first ingredient that you're picturing first in your head, just come up with something else and it will always work. For example, a typical breakfast, usually I would have cereal and milk or something like that, but I didn't have any milk, so I decided I would replace that with some stock kind of ramen. And um, instead of having cereal, because that doesn't really go very well, I put noodles in. Now, um, that's, that's a very good improvisation of uh, cereal. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's what I like to call a uh, student breakfast. <laughs> I have somewhat of a mission impossible today. I am in need of making a birthday card for my granddad, which is already underway. <laughs> and um, I actually, I have these really cool things. They have, uh, let me show you. I have cards, like little brown cards and, um, and envelopes. I can make my own cards and then I have a bunch of different like tissue paper and um, these are also like other sheets, small sheets of cards. So I'm going to try and come up with something creative and see what I can do. You know, in the middle there, should be kind of cool. And then I was thinking like, hey, you know what, I have some wrapping that kind of goes with this gold. Um, so I got this ribbon out, whatever you call this stuff, and I thought maybe I could do like, oh, you know what, this is so hard holding one hand on the camera. So then I thought I could do like along the bottom, like some, you know, something like that, maybe some long line, and then some this, looks kind of cool, over the top, you know, like that, except not wonky, I will fix that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of coming along. Okay, we're in the end game. <laughs> it's getting here. I'm trying to do stickies at the moment, so you can kind of see the sellotape, the double sided sellotape through this really, really thin, delicate tissue paper that I have. So I'm trying to play around with putting sticky tape in random spots so that when I put this over the top, most of it will be hidden and then I'm going to use some of this gold to cover down the side and maybe this side as well so nearly there have to put the seat forward whenever I drive this car which is weird because me and my partner are like basically the same height <laughs> off to the shop I am not super dangerous driver so I'm not gonna film me driving because that's just that's just reckless and irresponsible obviously so uh, yeah let's be right back <laughs> Package acquired. We'll open that when we get home. Super excited. Um, firstly, I have to... Oh God, I feel like I'm covered in virus. Dude has touched, insisted on touching my ID card. So 
not cool. And um, also my phone as well, so that super wasn't cool. I'm gonna just anti-back my phone. Oh, it's slippery. <laughs> okay, so next up is supermarket. I am grabbing tea, I am grabbing a stamp for the car and tea bags because I'm British and I can't run out of those and and I think that's it yeah so onwards to supermarket I don't know about you, but every time I go out now, I feel like everything is covered in coronavirus. Everything. Like, it's probably not, and I know that, but at the same time, I feel like everything has just been like, like some, like, like 10 people with coronavirus has just sneezed all over every item and everything I touch. <laughs> so that's how I'm living my life now. My favorite, one of my favorite summer drinks. Um, not sponsored. I'll blur this. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Now for the moment of truth. I don't know what my hair's doing today. It's just doing its own thing. Ugh. This arrived so quickly. I really, why does this happen every time? Thank God this isn't in shop. Like, Oh my god, it's so cute! It's so cute! <laughs> it's all. Oh. Okay, let me just. Before I get it out. <laughs> Am I being like overly. Uh, overly. Oh my god, that stinks. <coughs> Oh my goodness, look at that. It is so cute. Eee! So the bag I have got is, oh my God, it's amazing. It's so great. It is a Murloc bag that was on the Blizzard store. Although it's not made by Blizzard, it's made by this Jujubee company. And it is just basically a big tote bag that is covered in Murlocs. And if you don't know what a Murloc is, shame on you. That's all I'm gonna say. Shame on you. Um, oh my God, it has a really cute little like Warcraft thingy, like, and Juju be on the back, that's nice. They actually weren't lying, that is actually really nice metal work. <laughs> it smells slightly, slightly plasticky, but not really. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's so great. And big, actually. It's bigger than I th thought it was, and that's kind of strange because I even measured. So we've got some kind of handle thing going on here. What's that for? What's this for? Because I kind of thought there might be like another one on this side. And they'd like clip together or something. 
But this is just a random strap attached to the inside with a metal hook on the end. Random. So, I'm gonna have to try and get, try and show you the inside of this bag because I, I feel like you're missing out here. There's only one thing that's actually bad about this bag and that's the fact that it's purple on the inside because purple is pretty much my least favorite color. But it is completely redeemed by the fact that there are little like eaten fish bones and shells of different kinds and that is just attention to detail if I've ever seen it. Cute but deadly. <laughs> this is so cool. This is actually awesome. It's got these massive like net pockets on the inside. This is so hard to film with one hand, oh my goodness. Very raincoaty, it feels like. But it's not bad, it doesn't look bad quality. It looks actually amazing quality. It has pockets literally everywhere. Ugh. Here's the proper one, with a giant one there. Oh my god, I'm so using this when I go to England. I thought it was gonna be my Führerhaven bag, my very handy Führerhaven rucksack, but come on. Murlocs? Yeah, I think so. So this is now my new handbag. The Murloc bag. Yes. Life is good. It's so puffy as well. Feels like a jacket outside. Ooh. <laughs> I am almost finished editing this video and I'm about to release today's video in about 20 minutes. So if you are one of the awesome, awesome people that checks out my videos straight away, then not only thank you so much for your support, but also I was sat here literally filming this about 20, 30 minutes ago, which is kind of cool, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks so much for joining me today, guys, on this super chill vlog. If you want to see more things like this, then let me know down in the comments below. And of course, if you're new around here and you want to see more of me, then please sub and like and all of that awesome stuff. I am going to go finish editing, hit the upload button and go post this cut birthday card. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Bye.